Hey, what's up YouTube? So uh, today what I'm going to be doing, uh, well, it's probably going to be a multi-day project just because I only have a couple of hours to work on it, but um, I'm going to be using this grill here. It's just like per, uh, expanded mesh or like perforated mesh, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I bought this, I bought some uh, iron angle and then I bought some flat bar um, and I'll be making a uh, grill for the uh, brush guard on my Kubota L3901. Um, I'll, sh I'll show you why in a second. So that's the reason why I want to protect the uh, front end. Uh, so as you can tell, like the grill, the lights, um, none of that stuff's protected really with that brush guard um, from sticks. Uh, and since I'm going to be using the tractor a lot in the woods, um, and I'm also going to be using a log grapple. Uh, so I figured that give it some extra protection. Uh, and what I'm also going to be doing is this spot here at the bottom. I'll just make, um, I'll use some of the mesh with some iron angle. I'll make a bottom for, for that opening and I'll just use that as a chain basket. So as you can see, like the brush guard pulls open, well, bends forward so that way you, you can open the hood. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is it's going to be in two sections. So like from here to here, that's going to be like the bottom section that's going to be on there permanently. And then for the top part, it's going to be from uh, right above where like the, the corner here. So there's going to be iron angle there to give it some strength. Um, yeah. So let's get this going. So here's what I did. Uh, it's just simpler to remove the whole brush guard uh, instead of trying to maneuver around the loader in the bucket uh, and just it's just easier to work at that height anyways. So here's the grill. Um, it's like a rough idea anyways, but I mean, I need to cut it, but I think it's going to look pretty good. All right, so I got a couple pieces made. Um, so like the first one's gonna go like this here. And I got, so there's one that's gonna go here. It's gonna sit flush like this, uh, but anyway, it's gonna be on the railing here. Something like that, but flush. Um, and I got the side pieces. So those are gonna go like this. So I curved them. Um,
Well, that's kind of how it's going to look like. Uh, anyways, not finished yet, but hopefully it gives you a good idea of so look what that is. I curved the uh, grill as well. So, anyways, it's going to come out pretty decent. Alright, so this is what the uh, bottom part of the grill is going to look like. Um, probably going to add another piece of flat bar um, in the middle just to uh, reinforce it. So that's kind of what the uh, brush guard grill is going to look like. Um, anyways, I think it came out pretty good, so I just have to like clean up some of the welds. Um, then I'm going to drill the holes to mount it. Um, so it's not like the exact fit now, just because I kind of have to, uh, anyways, you'll see when I it's bolted, but it's going to fit flush. Um, and I'm just going to paint the, the whole grill black. Um, and yeah, I think that's going to be it. I think for like a, first trial kind of came out pretty good so like the way it's going to be held on is uh, I just welded those tabs on the side and then for the bottom so like this section here kind of rests uh, against the bottom here and then like the top, you can see here, like I have like some cutouts. So like this will like go in there. And then uh, I'm gonna bolt it through here. So like using those uh, iron angle. So it's gonna be bolted like in, in there. So. so now I'm gonna be uh, Getting ready to install that in the tractor, so I reinstalled the brush guard. So now, uh, next step is just to bolt that up. All right, so um, here's the result. Pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, let's see here, kind of it's curved, so it kind of matches. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna protect my my headlights and the uh, grill, rad battery, all that stuff. Anyways, from as you can see, it goes. All the way down there. Um, 
I ran out of material to build a little uh, basket at the bottom for to store chains. So that's going to be a future project. But anyways, uh, yeah, hopefully that kind of inspires you to build one yourself. Uh, it's not too difficult. Uh, yeah, so uh, if you liked the video, uh, hit the like button, uh, share, uh, subscribe to the channel, and uh, yeah, like in the next episode, what I'll be doing is uh, I'll be installing telescopic uh, stabilizer arms uh, for the three-point hitch instead of using the turnbuckles, so uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one.